He stands on his good leg among the other villagers, ignoring the cold wind gnawing on his cheeks above his beard, clutches an empty glass jar. Epiphany. The priest's voice drones on, so he tries to catch a piece of prayer, a piece of prayer, but it flutters out of his reach, caught up on the wind like incense. And he is afraid. The fickle breeze will only dash it back to the earth or shred it in the trees before the Lord can hear. Later, he sprinkles holy water around the bed of his sleeping wife who has given up prayer, and at the threshold of his grandchildren's room, who mourn their father and wait for their mother, and he saves one drop for himself, who alone believes in believing, though he knows not what.